Hey everyone, uh, Dr. D here. In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between homologous chromosomes and sister chromatids. So this is very important to understand, uh, especially for chapters 10 and 11. Uh, we're going to be covering mitosis and meiosis. And uh, the better you understand the difference between homologous chromosomes and sister chromatids, the better you're going to do. Uh, with your understanding and the easier it is going to be to understand those concepts. So what is a homolo what are homologous chromosomes? Um, as you know, humans have 46 total chromosomes, right? Humans have 46 chromosomes total. Um, but you inherited 23 of those from your dad and you inherited 23 from your mom, all right? I'm going to use blue for dad, red for mom, okay? Um, the egg from your mom's egg, the egg housed 23 chromosomes. Uh, one chromosome one, one chromosome two, one chromosome three, one chromosome four, you get the idea, 23 different chromosomes. The sperm from the dad housed 23 chromosomes as well. This included a chromosome 1, a chromosome 2, a chromosome 3. So every person then has 46 total chromosomes, but they actually have two sets of chromosomes. So what's a set? A set means 1 through 23. Having chromosomes 1, chromosome 2, chromosome 3, chromosome 4, a set of chromosomes 1 through 23, that's a set. So you inherited a set from your dad and you inherited a set from your mom. And so you have uh, two sets of chromosomes. You know what that means? That means, let me draw chromosome 1 for example. Let's say this is chromosome 1 from your dad. You also have a chromosome 1 from your mom. Now, both of these are called chromosome 1. Okay? Both are chromosome 1. But are they identical? If you were to sequence the DNA, would it have the exact same sequence? No. Uh, that one's from your dad, and that one's from your mom. They're, your mom and dad are not related. No. So they are not going to have a similar DNA. Um, they're not, it's not going to be the exact same. So these are not the exact same chromosome. They're, they don't have the exact same uh, sequence. But they're both called chromosome 1. Okay, why are they called chromosome 1? They're both chromosome 1. And you have two chromosome 2s. And you have two chromosome 3s. And you have two chromosome 4s. So what constitutes the chromosome number? Well, here's the thing. These two do have something in common but it's not the exact same sequence. What they have in common is that the same types of genes that are on this chromosome are found on that chromosome. Does that make sense? You remember what chromosomes are? Chromosomes are one continuous piece of chromatin or DNA, uh, one continuous piece. And remember the chromosomes house the genes, right? There are genes along the chromosomes. Each chromosome contains thousands, uh, or at least hundreds, I should say, hundreds of genes on each chromosome. All right, so whatever genes appear on this chromosome one also appear on that chromosome one. For example, if eye color, the gene for eye color was on this chromosome, it would also be on the other chromosome one. Okay, if, this, if, if hair color was on this chromosome one from mom, it would also be on that chromosome one from your dad. So, so what we could say is the same types of genes appear on these chromosomes, but not the exact same sequence, okay? Um, so again, you have two chromosome ones, two chromosome twos, two chromosome threes, but they're not identical. One's, one's from your mom, one's from your dad. But what they do share in common is that they share the same types of information, the same types of genes, okay? And, and there's a term for this. 
You see how there's the paternally inherited from your dad and the maternally inherited chromosome 1. They are called homologous. chromosomes okay homologous chromosomes homologous chromosomes are not identical homologous chromosomes share the same chromosome number but remember one was inherited from your dad one from your mom so they are they sh they have the same types of genes on there the same types of information but they're not identical okay now Again, you've inherited 23 chromosomes from your dad, 23 chromosomes from your mom. You have two chromosome 1s, two chromosome 2s, two chromosome 3s. Okay. Now, what happens if the cell wanted to divide? Right? A normal cell has 46 chromosomes, right? Well, what if that cell wants to divide into two cells? Well, uh, it can't just go ahead and divide because... If, if, if a cell went ahead and just went ahead and divided, uh, each new daughter cell would have 23 chromosomes. Does that make sense? That's not good. You don't want your, you don't want your daughter cells to have 23 chromosomes each if, if uh, one cell divides into two. You want it to divide so that it's, it retains its 46 chromosomes. So in that case, you know what you need to do? Before the cell divides, before the cell divides, you need to copy all the DNA, don't you? You need to copy all the chromosomes. So for example, if this is dad's chromosome one, you need to make a copy of it. You need to have two dad's chromosome ones, right? See, you need to make a da uh, copy of dad's chromosome one. So these are now identical copies of dad's chromosome one. And then you also need to copy mom's chromosome one. You see that? You need to make a copy of that as well. So this is an exact carbon copy of mom's chromosome one. Now you have two of mom's chromosome one, two of dad's chromosome one, and you're gonna have a copy of all your 46 different chromosomes. So how many total chromosomes do you have at this point? You have 92 total chromosomes, right? 92. That way, that way if you were to divide at this point, you would have 46, 46. You'd, you'd be back where you started, which is what you want. Okay, there's a term for this. You need to understand this. You see how the, now you have a copy of every chromosome? Those copies have a very sp specific name. Those copies are called sister chromatids. Okay? Sister chromatids are identical in every way. Sister chromatids are identical in every way. Sister chromatids and here's the thing a normal skin cell doesn't have sister chromatids right it just has 46 chromosomes one set from mom one set from dad okay uh, the only time a cell has sister chromatids is when the cell is about to divide the cell has considered uh, it is about time to divide the cell into two at that point, it makes a copy of all the 46 chromosomes. And only at that point do you have sister chromatids. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful. Um, you should definitely, definitely understand the difference between homologous chromosomes, which are not identical. One was inherited from mom, one was inherited from dad. They share the same chromosome number because they have the same types of genes. And then the difference between that and sister chromatids, which only exist after the DNA has been replicated. By the way, uh, foreshadowing, this is going to happen during S phase of interphase. Okay, Only at that point do you have sister chromatids. Okay, uh, So I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions below. And thank you for watching.